Hey, it's me. Um, as you know, I took the whole week off. Um, was able to get some sun while I could. Went out a little bit with Chan this morning. Uh, I just not really. I've been very depressed. Um, the and it all has to do with stupid, stupid stuff. You know, um, basic female things. You don't have self-confidence in yourself. You don't have, you know, self, you don't know, you don't have self-worth in yourself. I just, it's been hard. That's all I can really say. Um, without like losing it or popping up a blood vessel or something. I did hit my head, um, again. This time it was on coming out of the houseboat when I was sunbathing, I think, Monday, I think. Yep, yeah, got a big old knot up there. Sexy. Um, but, oh well. Did get a little sun, not too terribly much, which is a good thing. Um, I don't know. I'm just lost and confused. I don't know what to do. I I just I don't Let me phrase this correctly. I'm I'm not happy with the situation that I have my the hand that I have been dealt. How about that? Sorry, um, the the situation I have been dealt. ITP. I'm not happy with that. Um, has nothing to do with Chan. It has nothing to do with work. It has nothing to do with anybody else. It's the fact that the hand that I was dealt is bullshit. Um, and that's why I've been so depressed. Um, don't have a social life. I only have few contacts um, with people without my mask on. And that's very few and far between. And they're associates. It's kind of chance friends, I guess you could say, or whatever. Um, work, I'm always masked up, just in case. Uh, come one of my coworkers has got a cute little toddler. Well, she's not really a toddler. Her birthday's coming up, so she's not really. Well, I guess you'd call her a toddler. She's gonna be what four, five? Yeah, four. Either way, um, I just I feel all alone. It doesn't matter. Who says what? Um, yes, I always have my husband, but my husband has um, a lot of issues we're dealing with and we're working through with his own, um, has nothing to do with the two of us, it just has, you know, his own uh, growing up issues and uh, the way, you, either way, either way. Um, he's working on that, you know, and that's cool. We're getting him worked out. <sighs> I'm trying to take care of myself. I'm trying to do my own motivational stuff and try to keep myself going. Um, because yet again, if I don't take care of myself, how can I take care of him? And I've been carrying this burden for the last 19 years. And it's not, it's not a burden. It's, um... Like Dr. said, man, he gets his highs, he gets his lows, the highs, just like I do with my counts. Um, I get very emotional when my counts get really low. Um, I bleed a lot. But the biggest stress for me right now is the fact that <laughs> well, y'all already know what the ultimatum I was given by my family, by my sister, pretty much for the whole family. And 
I did send my mom a Mother's Day card. I'm not the asshole. But, you know, I can't live in the past. I can't let this affect my health. Um, my PA knows. My uh, doctor knows. All my nurses know. Nurses know about my husband's issues. Always ask about him. And it's pretty bad that my nurses have only met Shan a couple of times because I don't like subjecting him to that situation. Um, I don't like, I don't like subjecting anybody to that situation because it's not fun. It's not fun for me. Um, I am the more mentally strong one, but I have to vent. This is how I vent. I am the more mentally strong one, as you can say, but it's hard not being able to live a normal life. Um, it's hard not being able to, our anniversary, for instance, hard not to be able to go out to dinner. Um, our Deadpool's coming out Friday, which technically we can go see it Thursday. Um, they have a showing at 7, 8, and, 7, 8, and 10, or 7, 9, and 10, or 8, 9, and 10. Either way, they have showings on, you know, Thursday, you know, because they don't do the whole midnight showing anymore, because the whole, you know, bomb crap or whatever. Sorry, my nose is running. Um, either way, but I wanted to do that, but... Sorry, but with me and my medical condition, I would one have to wear a mask the entire time, and that's trust me, I'm I'm having breathing problems talking as it is with no mask on, and <clears throat> of course don't help crying, but you know, crying is not, but whatever. Either way, yeah. Our anniversary was Sunday, and, uh, or, yeah, so, I washed his truck on, was it, it was Saturday, I got tired of the pollen, because we've been talking about washing it and putting it up, because he doesn't need to be driving anyways right now, because, uh, he doesn't, he can't. He had a dog walking thing he used to do. He can't do that right now. We're trying to get him situated um, mentally, physically, you know, that kind of thing. Situated for himself. Um, but either way, but it was really hard because I, I can't go out to dinner. I can't. I know I want to go see Deadpool 2 just like he does in the movie theater just to be able to fill the whole thing and probably not going to be able to just because of the whole mass situation and the fact that I don't know it's just not comfortable it's not the whole it's not the whole experience you can't have the popcorn or yeah I can, I can drink a coke under my mask thing but popcorn touching things yeah that's not going to be good so it's it's fucking miserable it is It's like living in a bubble. It truly is, but I'm not in a bubble. Yeah, I can also I can go on Porsche. You know. I just I don't I don't you know, and I don't subject anybody to, to go with me just because of I saw the outcome of when Marie went with me. Um, just, it, it's it's mental anguish. It is, whether you're going through it or not. But you gotta think, I'm there every week. Sometimes more than once a week. I get to know these people. And sometimes these people just disappear. If you know what I mean. So it's hard. Nobody ever thinks about that. 
the, yeah, the nurses see it. The nurses see it. But that's about it. Um, I see it. Well, the reason why I see it is because I'm there every week. Especially if you have the same schedule I do or vice versa or whatnot or whatever. But that's the fact of life and that's why I have been so depressed is because I can't go out and do the things I want to. I wanted to go to the Renaissance Festival. I don't have the money to go to the Renaissance Festival. All the money that I do have goes to prescriptions. It goes to doctors. Thank God for Chan's mommy. She's paying for his doctor visits weekly. Thank you. Um, I'm very thankful for my charity, but pretty much every money, all the money I make, and especially the money I'm losing this week because I'm off, That alone is, that right there is my power bill, you know, alone, you know, plus I got to add some to it, but, you know, I guess I'll deal with it when it comes. Um, I can't get the camera girl thing working yet, uh, side gig thing, hopefully. Because the computer is shot. So now I gotta wait for that to happen. And who knows when that will happen. Because I certainly don't have the funds. And I just. I'm just so depressed. I just want to go to sleep. I know. I was supposed to take this off to rest. You know. Dr. Doctors wanted me to, and I finally told Dr. Mel my, my doctor that I work for. It's like, I'm off Monday and Tuesday already. I'm taking the whole week off. I'm taking Thursday and Friday. So, he told me to call the fill-in, and I was like, okay. Fill-in's filling in on Friday, and they can cover Thursday. It, sh it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I just... What's more of a big of a deal is the fact that I can't afford really to be here talking to you. That's the problem. Even though I need this downtime and I need time for myself to recoup and to chill, to vent, to... But I don't have the money to do any of that. I don't have the money to go see the movie that we want to see Thursday. Yeah, that's, that's how tight it is. Um, yet again, thank God for Chan's mom for paying for his, you know, his doctor appointments every Wednesday that he goes to. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm going to do. At this point, I'm going to have to file another bankruptcy again come... If I can hold out until August or September, let's see, February, January, September. If I can hold out till the end of August, September, stop paying pretty much that loan. I want to pay it off though, but that's the thing. I want to pay it off, but I don't have the money to pay it off because I'm putting myself out there to do side jobs, anything. I'm a jack of all fucking trades. I can work on cars. It's just, I just. My point being is that I'm not a lazy SOB and I'm willing to do anything. And it's like, I've been over backwards for people. People don't care. They don't. There's few and far between that care, and they've already shown their faces, and I know who they are. And then there's people that are in my life on a most daily basis, or 
would love them to be in my life on a daily basis, but they chose not me. So that's how my day's going. Yeah, vacation and I'm crying because I was going to get a nice, pretty much all inclusive paid trip down to do continuing education but circumstances changed and you know somebody else was able to go I'm cool but I was going to use that time as my break and I just I just lost it and I'm still losing it I just I'm tired I'm tired. So pretty much the rest of the time that I'm going to be off, I'm going to be crying and I'm going to be sleeping. So. Oh, well, tomorrow. I got doctor day and I just confirmed chance. So I got to take his, him to his doctor. So <clears throat> I'm signing out. I'm done. It's not fucking worth it anymore. It's just, I'm done.